So we're going to answer a very specific question uh, being how do you convert a column of values in a pandas data frame to a comma separated string? And, um, and in this case, we're, we're going to nuance that with uh, how do we enclose each value like in a single quote. So this is very useful and common, especially when you're, uh, particularly rather, when you're combining, let's say, values from a data frame and you're feeding them into, like, let's say, maybe an SQL query or something of that nature. So um, anyways, that's what we're going to attempt to do right now. So the first step is to uh, bring in your pandas data frame. Uh, so I'll just uh, execute that. Uh, then uh, I'm creating a list of lists, and this is basically just to kind of give me uh, tabular data. So let me go ahead and run that. And, uh, and then this list of lists, uh, in order to get into a pandas data frame in a nice table format, basically I am going to uh, call pandas. So I'll say pd.dataframe and pass this value and it gives me this uh, data frame here. So I actually want to save this data frame uh, to a variable. Um, so, and also if you notice this data frame just has the very core column names. So we'll, we'll address that in a little bit. We'll actually um, give it some different column names. So I'll say df equals pd data frame and then this conversion here. And next I will give this uh, the headers or some, the columns some actual names. Um, so the first one I'll call it like rn for row number. Uh, so this is being rn1234. Uh, next one I'll just say val 01 for value 01 and val 02 for value 02. And so if I preview my data frame now, I have uh, some column names. Okay, so whether you're needing um, value one or the row number or what have you, um, you know, whatever it is, uh, you can go ahead and begin extracting that uh, first by setting up, well actually um, by isolating uh, the column itself and casting it as a list. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say df and we're gonna call the column name and in this case, we'll just do uh, value one. So I'll say val01. If I run that, I get a series, right? But I'm actually gonna convert this to a list. And uh, I've add here, I don't think that has, there we go, that doesn't have an underscore. So two lists, and that gives me a list here. So I'm gonna save that list to an actual variable. So I'm gonna call this um, v1, okay? Um, oops. That's from something else. Okay, so I'm gonna call that v1. And now it's saved in my variable v1. And uh, and so for v1, if I preview that really quickly, it's, it's my list. But I'm gonna set v1 equals to uh, this method called join, okay? And join is really gonna prefix a string, um, I guess sequence or, or kind of like repeatable pattern that I'm gonna uh, declare it here and so basically I'm going to say uh, double quotes and I want to enclose these values in single quotes so I'm going to add a single quote then a comma let's say for example I want to make it a comma separate list and then another comma so basically it's going to say for every single value here that I'm extracting here I want to add a, a comma here um, excuse me a, a single quote here a comma and then a single quote and then we'll see how uh, we deal with that with the um, with the single quotes at the end in a little bit. So I'm gonna join that. And then in order to like kind of uh, take this list and put it all together, I'm gonna pass the map method. And I'm gonna say, um, treat these values as a string or cast them as a string uh, coming from variable one. So we're just kind of assigning the list variable back to itself, but within a string method. Okay, and then we'll take a look at what variable one looks like. And so now we see that we have apple and then single quote comma single quote orange banana and so forth so if we wanted to get this like into a pretty uh, string all enclosed in single quotes uh you know for the purpose of passing it through um uh, which we'll call it a like uh, sql query uh, we would do um you know we can basically just enclose it in single quotes so we can say uh, format single quotes um that's not working there we go and then just pass in the value one 
And so you'll see that, oh, that didn't quite work either. So let's do double quotes actually. So we can get the single quotes there. All right, and there we go. So basically, um, whenever you're creating your, your query string, make sure to uh, you know pass this um, the, the string formatter that allow you to pass variables through and close it in like uh, double quotes or triple quote, triple double quotes or what have you. Uh, and then you're gonna add a single quotes to the beginning. And this is that single quote right here. And then this join method just, you know, well, the results of this really is like the middle contents of this. And then your ending single quote is right there. So like now this string is ready to be passed, um, you know, to whatever you're handing it off to. So anyways, that's how you extract the values from one column and make them pretty much into a comma separated uh, string. Thank you for watching and do me a favor and please subscribe if you like the videos in this channel. Thanks, bye.